Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul video and I'm really excited to show you some of the things that I've bought. This is going to be a collective haul video, it's not all from the same place. I have this big bag from Mecca that I chucked a lot of the stuff in. So I have quite a few things from Mecca Cosmetica, Mecca Maxima, Kylie Cosmetics, Priceline, iHerb. Um, I think there might be a few other places in there but I just want to show you what I bought. <laughs> So without any further delay, let's jump into this video. So I'm going to start off with my personal favourite, and that is Kylie Cosmetics. I bought a whole bunch of stuff, as you can see there. Now I will be doing a separate lip swatch video on all of the products that I bought from Kylie Cosmetics. I've just got a whole bunch of the liquid lipsticks and two of the lip glosses. So I won't go into too much detail, I will just show you the ones that I bought. So we'll start off with the lip glosses. So I got the shades Coco K and Literally. I also wanted So Cute but it was sold out at the time that I bought it. I didn't want to get too many lip glosses just because I haven't been much of a lip gloss fan and I've been getting more into them lately but you know I didn't want to spend a lot of money on these lip glosses if I wasn't going to wear them and I've actually not worn either of these since I bought them. I've swatched them and they've looked pretty but I just haven't been in a glossy mood which I thought was going to happen which is why I didn't want to buy too many. So that colour there is Coco K and that was with one swipe. They are very very pigmented, very creamy, very glossy, they don't feel too sticky. Of course I will go into more detail in the swatch video. And that colour next to it is Literally. I think Literally is my favourite just because it is a little bit more brown rather than pink. So now that I've shown you the glosses, I'll show you the liquid lipsticks. I'm going to try and do this in like colour order. First up we have Coco K. This is definitely one of my favourites. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to swatch the lip liners, just the liquid lipstick. So that colour there is Coco K. It's a beautiful light pink. Next up we have Malibu and this is one of the first three of her summer shades. So that is Malibu there. It is definitely one of my favourites. It's quite similar to something like Cashmere by Lime Crime. It's got that like greyish brown sort of tone to it. Definitely one of my favourites. It's beautiful. Next up we have Exposed which is one that my sister actually bought me for my birthday. So this is exposed here. You can see that it's kind of like a camel, like peachy brown nude. It's really pretty. Next up we have Candy K, another one of my favourites. So that is Candy K there. You can see that it is quite a deep pink. And if you compare it to Coco K, you can definitely see a difference. That one is definitely darker. Next up we have Dolce K. And this is, again, one of my favourites. <laughs> I pretty much love all of... But I do actually love all of them. All of them that I've bought, I have not been disappointed with a single one. They're all so beautiful and the formula is incredible. I have pretty much non-stop been wearing these since I bought them. I am wearing Velvet Teddy today by MAC. Um, but that's because my lips have been very, very dry because I've been sick lately. Um, but before getting sick, I was wearing these pretty much every time I was wearing makeup. They're so beautiful. So there we have Dolce K. You can see that it's quite a mid-brown. Like, it's not too dark, but it's not very light either. And if you compare it to Malibu, you can see that Malibu has a little bit more mauve to it and a little bit more of a purple tone. So next up we have Ginger, and this one is definitely one of my favourites. I love this one. The first time I wore for it I had like I think it was two different people asked me what my lipstick was saying that it was really pretty and I think if a complete stranger comes up to you and asks you about your lipstick it's a good one on you so I really like this one and this one was another one of the shades that she brought out for her summer collection so there we have ginger you can see that it's like a deep brown but a very warm brown like it's got quite a bit of red to it if you compare it to Dolce K you can see that that is quite cool toned Whereas that one is very warm. Next up we have Posy K and this one is incredibly similar to Patina by Stila. If you don't want to go through the hassle of having to buy from Kylie and deal with the international shipping, if you are in Australia you can go to Mecca and get Patina by Stila because it is incredibly similar. The colour is incredibly similar however the formulas are different. 
Um, Patina is still a liquid lipstick, but I find that the formula of the Kylie's are so much better than Steeler's. So you can see that's what Posy K looks like there. So if you compare it to Candy K and then Coco K, you can see that again it's a darker pink. I might just swatch Patina by Steeler next to it so you can see how similar it actually is. So that is Patina by Steeler, so you can see that the colours are very similar. Uh, Patina is just slightly darker and a little bit more purple. And you can see that Patina has already started bleeding into the lines of my hand. Probably not a good sign on a liquid lipstick. So next up we have Kristen and this was another one of the shades from the summer collection. This one is a really beautiful strawberry red. Um, on me it is a little bit darker than it shows up on Kylie. On Kylie it's like a true strawberry red. Um, but this one on me is a little bit deeper. So that is what Kristen looks like. It is such a beautiful shade. Again, one of my favorites. It's just such a beautiful, like, deep strawberry red. Next up, we have 22. And if you have been following me for a little while, um, you would know that orange lipsticks are one of my favorites. So this, I was definitely drawn to. And I love that this isn't a true orange. It's like a burnt orange. It's so pretty. So that is 22 there, so you can see that it is an orange, but it definitely is a little bit more burnt. Next up we have Mary Jo K, and this is one of the most beautiful red lipsticks. It's really pretty because it's not like, it's not a traditional blue base red or a traditional orange base red, it's quite a pink base red. It's really pretty. So that is Mary Jo K there. So if you compare it to Kristen, you can see that Mary Jo K is just a little bit brighter and you can see how it is such a beautiful pink base red. So next up we have Leo and I bought this from the birthday collection. It was supposed to be limited edition, but she has been bringing it out with her regular collection. So I assume that means that she's making it permanent. And I'm quite glad about that because this is such a beautiful shade. So you can see Leo there. Now my camera isn't picking this up very well. On camera it looks quite black. But in real life it is more of like a blood red. Like if you have seen the lipstick Sin by MAC, it is incredibly similar to that. It is a blood red but with touches of brown. Next up we have Court K. And if you were thinking about buying this, I would probably skip on it. The colour is absolutely beautiful, but the formulation of this one just isn't on point. Uh, not for me anyway, I've only worn it once and the first time I tried to wear it, um, I applied it like I normally would and I pressed my lips together and everything that I'd applied from the bottom part of my lips had transferred to the top. So I had like a double layer on my top lip and nothing on my bottom lip. So I had to reapply on the bottom. And because I had so many layers on my lips, it got so crusty throughout the day and it just did not stay well. Um, so I would probably skip on this one. It is a beautiful color, but I don't know, the formula just really threw me off. So you can see Court K there. So it looks like exactly the same as Leo on camera, but it's a really deep purple. Last but not least from Kylie, we have True Brown K, and I was really drawn to this one because I want to start, well, I am pretty bold with my lipstick already, but I did not have a single deep brown. So I wanted to pick this one up because I was making a massive order anyway, so I thought I may as well. So we have True Brown K at the bottom there, so it's not as dark as Leo or Court K, but it is a very, very deep brown. Now if you're wondering why my lipstick looks different, it's because I decided to put on a little bit of literally since I've never worn it and oh my god it's so beautiful. So next up I'm going to do the things that I've bought from random places like they don't really have a category I like bought one thing here and one thing there. So first off I'm going to start with this Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. I bought this off of iHerb and I got it for five dollars uh, using a discount code. So I am going to be doing a video on this but basically it is a charcoal face mask. Well it has charcoal in it but it is carbonated and it bubbles. It sounds really weird. I'm really intrigued to try it. I have tried a, like a bubbling face mask before. It was Eradicate by Kate Somerville. I hated it. It made you feel so tickly like bugs were crawling on your skin but I thought I would give it a try anyway. I saw Shanexo's review on it and she said that it was really good so I thought I would give it a try and try it out on my channel. So that is what I got from iHerb. So next up I went to Benefit and I bought the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. I am 
obsessed with this. First of all, the packaging. It looks like an arrow. It's so beautiful. So you just pull this off and you've got your spoolie. And then you pull that off and you've got the pencil. But you can see how fine the tip is on that. It's so small, but it's incredibly precise because it is so small. And often with these, you find that they're either really hard and like you can't even draw on your face because it hurts you, or they snap off and break really easily, like the Kevin Aquan brow pencil. I used to try and show that to people at Mecca and I would try and swatch it on my hand and either you could barely see it or I tried it and it snapped off. But this is incredible. I might just... So you can see that like it comes up with the pigment you don't need to push very hard it's beautiful and the packaging is incredible too so after i purchased that at benefit the lady that was working there gave me a little deluxe sample of professional and i have used this before it's really good basically it is just a primer that helps to smooth out any fine lines and wrinkles and fill in your pores i'm not sure if it has silicone in it but it is a very like silicone feeling Primer. So next up, I repurchased my Dermalogica pre-cleanse and if you have been following me for a while, you know that this is my absolute holy grail in makeup removing. The only qualm I have is the packaging. Now it looks good, it looks like it's going to be really good for packaging, but it leaks so badly. It used to have like a little pop cap, you know when you like press it and like one side pops up. It used to have that, but this one, it just leaks out of the pump. It's really bad, um, but the product is incredible. It is my absolute holy grail for taking off makeup. Basically, it is an oil, so you just put that, I would just put that over my face now. However, I don't like to do that with my eyes. I have quite sensitive eyes, and this, it just irritates them. So I normally like to take off my eye makeup with my Garnier Micellar Water. And then I'll use this for the rest of my face. And I would just go in right now. And then I get a little bit of water on my fingers. And I just massage it in to emulsify it and turn it into a, like a milk. And then I just wash it off and then all my makeup is gone. It's incredible. So I got that off of Adore Beauty. Adore Beauty is one of my favorite places to shop because you get free shipping in Australia. It's really fast. Normally you get it like the next day or the day after you ordered. And they always include a little Tim Tam, which is always really nice. And next up, I went to Priceline and I purchased the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I am the lighter shade number 110 Porcelain. This is the foundation that I'm wearing at the moment. This is not my favorite foundation in the world. I got it when it was on sale, so I got it for $10, which is pretty good if you are familiar with the prices of like drugstore brands in Australia. But I do find that if I have any dryness on my face at all, it really clings to it. And it clings to my little face hairs, like my little peach fuzz which bothers me. I'm actually looking at getting an epilator just because I want my makeup to go and smooth out. It's really good for exfoliation and anti-aging and I, you know, I don't want a beard. But this like kind of clings to my peach fuzz and yeah, any dryness it kind of clings to. Like it looks okay now, but I notice it as soon as I put it on in the morning that it's like, hello, you are dry. So. Yeah, if you have like quite oily skin, give this a go. But if you've got combination skin and you're a little bit dry, I would err on the side of caution just because this is really clinging to any dry patches that I have. Next, I got this NYX Glam Liner Aqua Luxe liquid liner. This is in the shade Glam Nude and I'm obsessed with this. I cannot wait to use this in a tutorial because holy moly. So it's going to be hard to see. But you can see if they're all, yeah, there we go. It is like a rose gold metallic shimmery liquid liner. When it hits the light, yes. So pretty. It was $10 from Priceline. Lastly from Priceline, I bought another one of the Sinful Colors, Sinful Shine collaboration with Kylie Jenner. This is in the color Slay Grey. I didn't even know that was so cute. Um, I have two others of the Kylie collaboration. I have Commando and Creme de la Creme, and they are gorgeous. The colors are beautiful on point. Um, my favorite is Creme de la Creme, and the formulation of these are incredible. They're so shiny. 
so beautiful they stay on really well as well these are gel nail polishes but that is what the color looks like so it is a gray nail polish but it has like a yellowy green reflex to it and i haven't worn this yet but i'm so excited it's so beautiful just for reference and in case you're wondering this is creme de la creme so it's a really beautiful like rose gold bronze shade so next we're going to dive into this big mecca bag first up i got the eve long brightening lotion now i didn't purchase this i actually got this as gratis on my last day of mecca yeah i haven't mentioned that but i don't work at mecca anymore basically at mecca they have these online quizzes that you do um, just to kind of keep you up to date and trained and sometimes you'll get gratis if you do it. I used to love doing the quizzes. I don't know why anyone wouldn't do it. Like a lot of the girls at the stores, they hated doing the quizzes and I'm like, why? You have a chance of getting free stuff. But this is what the bottle looks like. It's very luxe. Now, if you're not familiar with Evlom, it's a very luxe brand, like very like expensive this one i think is like 128 dollars or something like that i don't find this does much for me i find it very hydrating but i haven't seen it do anything to really brighten my complexion i'm using i think like eight or nine steps in my skincare though so it might be that i haven't noticed this working by itself because I'm using so many other products and like I have like rosehip oils and stuff to try and counteract the redness and brighten up my skin. But this is, it's beautiful, it doesn't smell bad, it's really hydrating, but yeah, I just haven't seen it working on its own to brighten my skin. Next up, we have the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads and this is the extra strength formula and the 30 day treatment. Once I started working at Mecca, I learned about chemical exfoliation and how much better it is for your skin than physical exfoliation. So I love these. I have talked about them in my videos before, but if you don't know, the first step is your alpha hydroxy acids and basically they help to eat away the gum that holds your dead skin cells to your face. So it's just helping to like eat away the dead skin and helping to brighten up your complexion. These are incredible for anti-aging as well. They have a lot of like really good ingredients in them for exfoliation, anti-aging, brightening up the skin. So step two is your beta hydroxy acid like salicylic acid and it's also got its more hydrating properties. So what your beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid does, it helps to exfoliate inside the pore. So a lot of products that are targeted towards acne prone skin, you'll see that they're marketed as having salicylic acid in them, which is like your beta hydroxy acid. Basically what it does, it helps to clean out all of the gunk that's inside your pores so that you won't get breakouts. So if your pores are all clean they're not going to get all like infected and gross and cause a pimple so this is really good for acne prone skin also in your second step you have your more hydrating and calming ingredients to calm down your skin again but i love these they're incredible quite expensive but definitely worth it now you can use these every single day i haven't been using them lately because my skin it is sensitive skin and I find that I was getting a little bit irritated using them every single day. Next up, we have the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. So the inside of the pot is that gray charcoal color. And then as it dries, it turns to a white or like kind of like light blue color. And then as you're wearing it, you will see little spots like where there's no mask anymore. And that is where all of your oil is being drawn out of your skin. Now I am grossed out and amazed every single time I use this because <laughs> nearly every single time I have whole patches on my nose missing from where I have so much oil and it's crazy. I love things where you can see what's happening, like you can see the difference. So this is really cool. Very, very good for congested skin because it really helps to draw out the oil. Next up, we have the Dr. Dennis Gross Hydrating Super Serum, the Clinical Concentrate Booster. And I've talked about this a few times in my videos, but this is probably my new favorite skincare item. I've been using this every single day, twice a day, sometimes three times. This product contains hyaluronic acid. I've talked about hyaluronic acid quite a few times on my channel. It's like my favorite ingredient. Basically, it holds a thousand times its weight in water. 
So when it gets into the skin, it really hydrates because it's bringing that water in and it plumps up your skin. And I bought the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light and I have already used this like quite a few times. Now this is one of my absolute favorite powders to set under my eyes with. I just love it because it's got a little bit of yellow to it. It's like a white yellow. So it helps to brighten up under the area and it's just so beautiful. I've got it on under my eyes today. I've been wearing it pretty much non-stop. It just brightens up the area, but because it still has a little bit of that like glow to it, it doesn't look too matte under the eyes either. This is incredible. I go through these so quickly. Sometimes I will use this to set the rest of my face as well, and it's incredible. Next up, we have the Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer, and this is the bronzer I'm using at the moment. I find it incredibly hard for me to find bronzers that I actually like because I am so fair. It's hard to find bronzers that aren't too orange or aren't too grey. So this is incredible. You can see what it looks like there. It's just, it's really beautiful because it has a little bit of that pink to it. I love this one as well because it isn't completely matte. It still gives you a little bit of a glow, but you can see what it looks like there. And it's so good because it suits my fair skin, which not a lot of bronzers do, and I'm so happy with it. Next up, we have the blush Deep Throat by NARS, and I don't know why I didn't have this before. When I went to Sydney with Brittany, I really wanted to get it, but I went to the checkout and it was already like $450, so I had to put it back. So I swatched it at the bottom there, but you can see how beautiful that is. It just blends out to a really nice peachy pink. My mum has been wearing this pretty much every day for like five years and it's always so beautiful and I don't know why I didn't buy it sooner. Next up we have the eyeshadow Fireball by Urban Decay and this one I bought because my mum bought it and then wore it and then I was like mm, I need to get that because so I was gonna get it but I ran out of money. Now this is what it looks like so you can see that it's an orange with a pink reflect. See there that's what it looks like so you can see it just looks orange, but then in the light, it catches pink. It's so, so pretty. If you have green eyes picking that up, it would look so, so beautiful. So now I only have lipsticks to show you. First up, I got the Hourglass Femme Nude Lipstick in Nude Number 6. The only thing I don't like about this is that you can't wind it down all the way, which I hate because if I'm in a rush or I'm in a bad mood, I'm going to rip off the cap and I'm going to rip the lipstick and I'm going to be really annoyed because it won't wind down all the way. So you can see it there. It's like a peachy brown nude but it has a little hint of pink to it that isn't really showing up in the camera. It's a little bit matte but it's not completely matte. It still has a little bit of a cream to it and it's incredibly long lasting. Another thing I don't like about it is the smell and I'm really hoping it's not because mine is bad. I need to get mums and smell it because this smells awful. Next up, we have the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the color Lana. And again, if you know anything about me, you will know that that color is right up my alley. So you can see it's a beautiful bright orange with a touch of red to it. It is incredible and these NARS Audacious lipsticks, I'm obsessed with them. They are so long lasting, they're a little bit matte but still creamy. Last but not least, we have the YSL Rouge Pure Couture Lipstick in number 9 Rose Stiletto. Love the packaging of these. The smell isn't my best friend. Well, it's not too bad. It just smells rich, like if I was a rich person. I would probably wear something that's not like that. But it's such a beautiful like plum color. It's like a plummy rose. So pretty. So it has a lot of purple and pink in it. And I love the quality of these YSL lipsticks as well. They stay on really well. Really long lasting. This one is quite creamy. So that my friends brings me to the end of this video. I really really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy watching hauls. I love filming them, I love buying this stuff, I'm really good at spending money. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to, subscribe to my channel down below, I would really, really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!